Hello, 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 all you beautiful, wonderful people. And I am drowning in beautiful plushes that I got when I went to Goodwill on Senior Day. Oh, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Renee, and this is Gangalize Treasure. And this is my Goodwill haul. And this one, I think I showed in the video um, when I went to Goodwill on Senior Day. If you haven't seen that one, you really need to go back and check it out. And yes, we're in the hot mess garage with my cushions that are up here because it's cold here and it's winter time. Again, today. Yesterday was beautiful. Today it's cold. Indiana, it's March. It's a little schizophrenic weather. So, this, let's um, start with this lovely little beauty. Is it just the cutest little caterpillar you've ever seen? All the beautiful colors. This is a Dan D, D E E, a collector's choice. Um, I think it's like 26 inches caterpillar. And I felt the tag here a minute ago. I paid $1.99 for it. And it has sold recently for $26.69. Actually, the one that sold it was red and blue. Red and, you know, it was a different color. But, um,. I paid a dollar and nine for it. If I could sell it for twenty six sixty nine takeaway fees, I should make about twelve fifteen dollars. And don't worry, they're not going on the floor. There's bags over there. All the bags that all this stuff came in is over there, so they're all protected. This also is a Dan D collectors. I always forget collectors choice. This is the black and tan dachshund. I love you for Valentine's Day. And he is not as impressive as the caterpillar. Um, he has recently sold for $19.99. Oh, he's so cute. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. And even for um, any other holiday or a gift, it would be cute when it says I love you this much. Um, so I could make about five to eight dollars after fees and promotions and this little guy this scarf is just so cute and I was like oh it doesn't look like a stuffed animal it looks like a doorstop too because it's kind of hard down here but um, I paid a $5.99 for him but he has his tags he is a Boyd's Bear it says Boyd's Bear Bear wear. Um, but on here it also says that it's a the archive collection. This is Fifi Farkle Frost. Fifi Farkle Frost with a pretty nifty plaid scarf there. And um, let's see, what did I pay for him? I paid, like I said, $5.99 for him. And he sells for about twenty dollars so after fees and promotions I could make eight to ten dollars this one was the one that I was kind of ex well I mean I was excited about the caterpillar um, but I was also excited about this one this is a rush revere from the bear mill I paid a dollar ninety nine for him his name is Liberty. He has his name on his little tag here. And Little Liberty sells for $26. Or has recently sold for $26. And a lot of times comps are all over the place. Um, somebody sold one but it wasn't in very good shape for like $9.99. Um, but this little guy is in perfect shape. His mane is still there. There's no tears. No rips. His eyeballs are still there. His hooves are all there. I think his hooves have beans in them. And um, his tail is all there. 
this little cute duck. I just call him Baby Duck. I bought him for $1.99. He is an F-A-O Schwarz. Schwarz collectible. And his little plaid bow. I thought he'd be perfect for Easter. I got to get him up in the next couple of days. And I wrote some of this stuff down so I wouldn't remember. And where is the baby bear? Baby bear. Baby duck. Ha ha ha. He sells for between $15 and $20. And I paid $1.99 for him. So I could make 7 to 10 bucks. And my big duck that I showed you um, on the last haul that was holding the Easter eggs, he's already sold. So if you're looking for Easter plushes for me, um, I have one other rabbit and one other duck that's up. And then this duck will be up this week. And this little guy, I was really surprised about. Um, I bought him for $1.99. He's a nice little floppy, very fuzzy. But he is a Circo. C-I-R-C-O. Circo. And he's the tan and beige. Floppy. Shaggy. Dog. And um, one of these just sold for $34.90. So... He's very close to my heart. He's very cute for him, not cute for him. Um, cute little bandana. So with these, I could make I could make twenty dollars on this little guy. Um, I can make more money on this little guy than on the caterpillar. It's just more collectible. This is a build a bear from the build a bear workshop. He's a baby bear. He has his little PJs on, he has little baby bears on him in PJs, and he has little slippers, and he has a little diaper on, and um, there is not another one like him on eBay, um, but I paid $2.99 for him, and another baby bear with a different pajamas sold for $22.90. So that could be another 10 bucks, which is not bad for a little plush because you don't have to do a lot with them. Um, he'll probably ship in a shoe box, a medium priority box, I think. That caterpillar, I don't know what I'm going to put him in. I may have to Franken box um, two baseball bat tubes or two golf tubes together to put him in. And I have a I have an Anna. Okay, get off. Get off. I have an Anna and an Elsa. And this is really strange. If I had looked them up, I just grabbed knowing who they are and that they're Disney. And um, $2.99 for Anna and $1.99. $1.99 for Anna. $2.99 for Elsa. Thinking this one's bigger, but worth more money. Nope. Um, Anna is only 16 inches and she sells for $18 to $22 while well, Elsa's 24 inches I paid $2.99 for her and she sells for $14 which you would think would be reversed and if they were the same size, I would consider putting them together as a pair, as a bundle. But they're not the same size. And I wonder if last, you can put in the comments if you remember. The last time I went to Goodwill, I bought one of these. And maybe if I bought the Elsa that goes with this size, I could put them together as a bundle. Um, I don't know if you remember, I picked up all of these. A hundred, I didn't, didn't even read the number about it. A hundred and forty-four tea lights. And I paid two dollars and ninety-nine cents. That's mine. And um, I bought this little guy. I thought he was so cute, a little bear. And then I got him home, and I realized I looked at the front. 
I didn't turn him over. He has a boo-boo on his ear. So, that little 99 cents, he's mine now. I guess I can hide his ear somehow. And this cute little duck I got for $1.99. He doesn't have any maker's mark on him. But I know he's vintage. Um, and the weird thing is he has little metal pieces on the bottom. But they don't roll or anything. He doesn't make any noise. He doesn't have anything to squeak. But um, I'm going to do some more research and see what I can find. And it's like the Boyd's Bear. When I first was researching it, um, I said, I said, here, David, and I tossed it to him across the garage. I said, I paid $5.99 for that. It only sells for $10. I said, we just inherited a Boyd's Bear. And then I went, oh, no, wait. <laughs> That's the wrong. I didn't look up the right bear. So, um, this cute little Christmas plate or snowman shaped plate I bought for 99 cents and it sells for 12 and that's actually snow that's not a chip there's not any chips on it um, there's a little wear up here on the, the Christmas tree but it's just color fade not and I kind of figured he was probably pretty modern um, if I can get that green stuff off. I didn't realize there was even, you can see that right there, that green stuff. Um, if I can get that off, I can sell them for 12 and still make eight bucks. And I bought these, they're little ball jars, but they are salt and pepper shakers. And um, I bought them for 99 cents a piece and I think they're going to go on my table. Because I have bigger sets than these, but they had the plastic top. They were sitting on the stove. Not a good idea. So one got melted. And, I mean, it's just really hard to get it on and off. But I just thought those were cute. But those will probably stay in mine. And I like coffee. I have to drink decaf now. But um, I still like coffee. And I want coffee cups about coffee. Coffee cups that have coffee memes on them, coffee sayings on them. Um, I have a vintage coffee cup from a coffee company. I can't even remember who it is. I have another one that says how many cups a day? Question mark. Um, and I have one that just says coffee, 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 latte. Like that. And then I found this one. Coffee with a side of brunch. Because I want my coffee center to have all coffee cups that have coffee things on them. For mine, anyway, um, David <laughs> just goes to our bank and gets a cup of coffee every time. <laughs> they don't have plastic cups, so he comes, he comes home with cups that have the bank name on them all the time. This is that beautiful fused glass that I picked up. This is a Lori Siebert for Sylvestri by Dimdaco. If I butchered that, I'm sorry. Um, I paid $2.99 for it. It sells for about $25. You know what? We've almost cleared the whole table, except I have a great big huge bag over there too that we need to go through. So I think we can do one more. You guys saw me pick this up. We talked about it. It's luminary. Um, I looked on the bottom. I paid $1.99 for it. It was originally $14.99 at Kohl's. It does come from Kohl's. It is not vintage or anything like that. But um, I went to high school in New Mexico and putting out luminaries was a really, it was so beautiful in town. Um, this was kind of the same idea. And knowing that it came from Kohl's and originally sold for $14.99, I could probably only sell it for about $7. And I paid a dollar ninety nine for it, so I don't know whether it will go up for sale or not. Let me know in the comments whether you think it should go up for sale or not. Let me know what you think about the haul. If um, you think I got any of those prices right, or go back and check the the haul when I went to Goodwill and let me know what there was some stuff that I missed. And this is part one, and I still have to do part two, but. Until then, remember that you are blessed to be a blessing.
So go out and make today a great day.